The border crisis is taking center stage in Washington, D.C. today with a new plan by President Obama to speed up the hearing process for Central American children. This all involves moving the hearings to Central America, and it is controversial. NBC's Steve Handelsman has more. The goal of the new Obama plan is to end the surge of kids. At the White House, the president shared his idea with the presidents of Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. In Honduras, racked by gang violence, an Obama pilot program would offer hearings to kids seeking asylum who claim they're in special danger. There may be some narrow circumstances uh, in which uh, there is a humanitarian or refugee status that a family might be eligible for. If that were the case, it'd be better for them to be able to apply in country. The few who would qualify come straight to the U.S. The plan is the rest would see they wouldn't qualify if they did come to the U.S. and would be deported. And so the hope is they won't try to come. Many Democrats like the plan. The first thing is protect the children, have them not come. They should not be coming to America. Most Republicans want faster deportations, not a program to bring in children. Processing uh, these kids as refugees in their own country and then assisting them to come into America. He moved them back to their home countries, which is where they belong. For now, many more children are coming than are going back. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Washington. Republicans are divided over what to do, so Congress might go home for a summer break next week without approving any plan to deal with the border crisis. To give you some perspective, since 1975, Americans have welcomed over 3 million refugees from all over the world. The U.S. defines a refugee as someone who has fled from his or her home country and cannot return because of a well-founded fear of persecution based on religion, race, nationality, or political opinion. The U.S. already has several agreements in place. For example, since 1975, more than 280,000 African refugees have been admitted to the United States. The largest groups have been Somali and Ethiopian, but there is a cap of 15,000 total refugees from Africa for this year. There is a similar agreement covering East Asia. More than 1.3 million refugees from Asia have been admitted to the U.S. since 1975. Most are from Vietnam. There is a ceiling of 14,000 refugees from East Asia for this year.